Hello guys and welcome back to our hardcore let's play series on bedrock edition today we are going to build a barn for our beautiful horses donkey and jazz I want to build a barn just so they have a better home and just so they have a place to sleep lay their heads and in general for our other animals like our cows chickens and uh, and sheep so let's get right on to that but I have prepared up kind of a uh, well how I want want it to be and an area for where I want all my animals to walk freely so let's head into our building world and have a look at that okay guys so we are in my building world right now or a backup world uh, and this is the barn it's kind of simple I'm not fully sure about the roof if I want to have that or spruce but I think that looks good so this is the inside we'll basically have a four uh, six stations where we can have I guess you know we can have two horses here, one here, two here. So we're gonna have uh, six to 12 horses in here. We're gonna have a general you know, crafting area. And then up here we will have a bunch of just you know hay and wheat, uh, whatever for our horses. And I'm gonna be building this on this little island right here. So as you see, our main bases are over there. And this is basically gonna be where we have animals walk freely. So obviously we have this part right here that connects to the swamp and to you know the rest of our world so basically I will mine away the part right here just fully on remove it maybe later or in the next one or off camera I will basically remove this part so uh, the island will go like this you know grass up here all around so we're gonna have a pathway going out because obviously horses can't swim so, well at least into deep water so we're gonna have a bridge going from here to here and maybe one going from here to there too, it just seems logical. So yeah, that's basically it, and then I will also have a stone wall going all around. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'm gonna have a stone wall going all around this island. I might expand it a little bit more, so um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, but anyways, let's head into our uh, hardcore world. Okay guys, so we are back in my world. This is where I want the barn to be. Uh, like I showed y'all, obviously I have to clear out all the sunflowers, the grass, and uh, I guess, uh, you know, I'll just have to get started building. So I have prepared up, if we quickly remove all this, I have prepared up roughly enough blocks of what I should need. So here is the concrete, red concrete, white concrete uh, buckets. A few signs, you know, the fences of course, and in general some wood. Here I have the stuff for the roof, here, and this is for the inside of it. And here we have some of the rest. The hay bales, obviously quite a few of them. <laughs> some stone trapdoors, redstone blocks for windows. Let's just get uh, get started. Okay guys, so the barn is officially done, at least the outside, it's looking pretty good. If we have a quick flight about, there we go. It's uh, looking pretty good, I'm loving it. I might expand it off camera or soon, a few blocks backwards maybe. Uh, 
like you know with these maybe a few layers more and i also want to change this up maybe a little bit but i think this looks good so you know horses can just look out but i might change this up a little bit uh, but yeah i kind of want to expand it more backwards because we are on quite a big island right here and this is quite a small barn so my you know like i said <laughs> expanded a little backwards but for now i think this looks good okay guys so i grabbed everything i should need for interior you know the top floor and the bottom floor so let's just get right onto it so right here i will have three barrels right here and three right here that are kind of tables you know but also some all right storage so nice right here i will have two cauldrons with water and boom and in the middle right here we're gonna have an anvil nice okay guys so up here we're gonna just kind of load off this wall at least this three things right here with signs and then the whole top five row right here with birch signs because they look great and then we're just gonna spam a bunch of hay bales okay so this will basically be like a hay storage for you know the horses and animals that is gonna be roaming outside just walking around having a whale of a time on this beautiful I was about to say love island <laughs> uh, beautiful beautiful little island animal island so uh yeah i think this looks good nice and nice now i obviously want to place down a few lanterns on each of the sides right here because you know we gotta make sure that no creepers spawn uh, in our animal ponds or horse ponds nice Okay guys, so I grabbed a few stairs and obviously more hay bales, well, had them on me because in each of these uh, kind of holes I wanted to have a few hay bales and uh, hay bales, can't speak, <laughs> and you know a water pond or you know a water kind of source for the horses to drink whenever, whenever they get uh, thirsty. So yeah, let's do that right here. My Um, boom so the inside is officially done uh, the only thing we need to do now is to close up the gates and go and get some horses so yeah we ne only need to get our horses we will definitely breed and maybe tame up a few more to keep around there too i am liking this a lot especially this log that you know it's just above puts out whatever that is called uh, and yeah i think this is amazing it looks really good and obviously we have the barrels the water buckets to fill up for our horses so yeah this is great okay guys so i want to go straight up and start with a simple bridge uh, i will definitely change this up later because this is just going to be a short term design so i can get my horse over there but i kind of want to just as this bridge uh, bridge english <laughs> to have a trap door trap doors going right there that leads this way which means i can get one out and have some sort of slab right here maybe but i'll figure out what to do otherwise but anyways um boom so my bridge is done i think this looks pretty all right i might actually not change it i did this thing that you know uh, i use trap doors and stairs to kind of build the archway that holds the bridge up if that makes sense but I'm kind of liking this. It's kind of like medieval kingdom-ish. Uh, but yeah, this actually looks pretty good. So, okay, so I, I'll go and get my horse and see how this uh, this works. Okay, guys. So my bridge is over here. So yeah, there we go. Going on it feels, I mean, pretty all right. <laughs> it's nothing spe special. It's a bridge. It looks all right. It looks pretty good. I mean, I might make it one higher up to be kind of close to do the same level as my epic and nice looking barn but yeah let me give this uh, horse a kingdom space to live inside here nice look at that i think this looks really good act actually ah nice well our barn is looking amazing i'm so happy we did this because we are going to load up this island with animals soon not today but hopefully in the next one but what i want to do right now is i kind of want to get started on the pathway to here because I want to have an official pathway that leads to the barn of course so we can easily travel back and forth and get you know get to our horses and that pretty easily so you know let's just do that so okay so this is the beginning of the pathway I'm still not fully sure how I want it to be okay so, okay so like I said I'm not sure where I want the pathway to go through I'm kind of thinking through the forest right here somewhere around there just so we don't hit the hill or something like that because 
That would roughly be the best. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure, but I'll figure something out as we go right here. Okay, so I had to go and grab my wooden slabs. I accidentally dropped them off, but... Uh, Let's see how this pathway feels, just go walking through here, I might have to change up, well, cut down some of these trees, obviously they will not be here forever, because I I'm just play placed them here to farm wood, but I kind of like to have this little path through the forest, it just seems kind of nice to walk uh, through a couple of trees before, you know, being able to, before you are able to, um, I'll change that up, but before you're able to like get to the barn, get to the location where you want to be. So uh, yeah, I think this seems nice. So I think this looks good. And then we just have to remove this. And then we'll basically just cut through here. And uh, you know what, let's, let's just lead into the nether portal. I think this is pretty nice because we don't have a pathway f for this side. So I think this is uh, really good. Okay guys, so it seems like my uh, riches box is missing. Don't know where it is. I thought I put it in here. What is this? Oh, okay. I thought I put my uh, riches box in here, but um, I guess I did not. So this might be trouble if I lost it or dropped it. So uh, we might have a quick... Uh, hello there. We, we might have a quick look around, around our house to see if we can find it, but if not... I am in big trouble. Okay guys, so this is the last place I need to check. I checked around the castle, but, uh, but it didn't seem like it, it was there. It wasn't there. I already know that, but uh, yeah, let's head down into our spooky basement. I'm loving the candles that I believe we placed in the last one. It really gives off a nice light vibe. But yeah, let's head into here. Whoa, you know what? Forget looking through my riches boxes for them. Test subject one uh, Bob. Test subject two Roger. Roger, there we go. Hopefully, they are still there. If not, I'm gonna be really sad. Hello there. So I believe there is one too many. Nope, there is officially two. There is Bob. There is Roger. So get in here. Bob. The other one. Get out. Get out. <sighs> okay, guys. So I need to separate the zombies. This might be a little hard. There we go. Get test subject one. Get in there. Get in there, please. Okay. You know what? There we go. Test subject one and two. I'll move the other one to this cell, but... Uh, Oh, uh, look at this. You can't touch me now. Oh, look at this. <laughs> so I might use one healing, splash of healing on them. Huh. That is interesting. It looked like they took damage from that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to write this down. Hold on. Okay, guys. So we are back down. I grabbed a lectern and a book of quill. And that is because I want to do some experiments on these people. And that is... Well people the zombies and that is why I made these two chambers to test out the po potions I would be making and seems like they are together so I might try and separate them before I do anything else there we go I managed to separate uh, Roger and Bob which is great but if we can grab the book how do I okay there we go uh, test subject one, day one. Okay guys, so this is my first time writing in a book about our test subjects. The first time we have had them. I hope they are lagging their homes, but anyways, let's read what I've read. Day one, Roger and Bob in the same cell, now separated. I threw a healing potion on them, seems like they, they took damage. Effect, they jumped and grunted. But anyways, let's get out of here and continue to look for our riches box. Okay guys, so I just thought the last place, the only place I haven't checked is my bedroom, so may, so hopefully it's here. It was here. Well, thank God for that, but I was starting to get a little scared that I've lost it, but happily I didn't. Okay guys, so we are back at the barn, we are on the roof, and look at that. So I mined out this area down here, it doesn't look the biggest or the best, but I mined it out to the lowest level we should, because I want to make a river right here. And that is something we're going to do right now. 
okay guys so i mined out this it's gonna be a really small river and i will definitely expand it in the future or off camera to make it bigger but for now this is how this is gonna look so i want to open this right now because i want to fill it fill it in with water first but anyways nothing can stop us now with filling up the water so let's just fill up this river and uh, i'll be right back and boom so the river is kind of done it's not looking the best best but uh, i think it's all right it's looking all right i might put in a little bit of seagrass uh, seagrass and maybe a little bit of uh, fish in it or just let the fish swim through but anyways it looks all right i'm quite happy happy about how it turned out but hey on this note i might end it off this one was mostly about working on the island and the barn but anyways thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye.